Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here for Chain Soldier Episode 5. So last episode, we got a little bit more on Himari and her the situation with her sister. And clearly, they do not have a good relationship. And so they have challenged each other. And we are now getting to the... Well, challenged each other. It was more Kyoka essentially challenging... Challenging is the wrong word, because they called it like a friendly duel to test their firepower and strength overall, but it's clearly just an excuse for Himari and her sister to duel each other. I, I keep forgetting her sister's name, so I apologize. But we've got Tenzin's group, I believe they called them, they were squad six, the sixth squadron, I believe, and I believe her name was Tenzin, sorry, a lot of, a lot of characters, and so it's taken me a second to get adjusted to all their names, but I'm pretty sure her name was Tenzin, so we've got that going on, so we're going to be duking it out with them in this episode, we got a bunch of rewards awards from Himari last episode. I think last episode was the most I've ever had to censor a video since I started doing YouTube, so there's that, I guess. Uh, um, so I'm intrigued to see where this episode goes. I was actually kind of hyped for the fight because I feel like trying to fight a time ability is going to be very interesting and I'm excited to see how it all plays out and how they inevitably end up taking her sister down because I believe Himari is going to win. So we'll see how that goes in this episode. Per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord. Links are in the description for both of those below. The Discord, we talk about shows, we talk about Dangers of My Heart, uh, Delicious in Dungeon, whatever it could be. We talk about all a, a mix of a bunch of shows and just have an overall great time in there. And then also feel free to check out the Patreon as well. Typical reaction uh, content Patreon. You get uncuts of all my reactions. Uh, so feel free to check out either of those of your own will. But without further ado, let's get straight to uh, Chained Soldier, Episode 5. Let's see how this, uh, this fight goes. Is that a gun? Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is them coming out of the bath here, I guess. <laughs> I don't think this girl's gonna have any information for you. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I do remember this. This immediately hit her in the stomach. I find it very intriguing how they're taking- Oh my god, she literally just has a gun. I'm sure they've got some plan in mind here. Ooh. Oh, god damn. Knocked the gun straight out of her hand. So it really is just going to be a battle to make her as tired as possible. So she herself is not that strong. She has to use a gun to take people down. But it's her power that makes her such a pain to deal with, which makes sense. Time abilities are the most annoying things of all time. Mm. Oh, whoa. They're not there. Did they switch up the attack again? Very interesting how she's able to tell when she changes time. You would think it'd be very difficult to tell, but it seems like Kimari is able to pick it out pretty easily, actually. She's able to see... Hey, you- <laughs> she's able to see, hey, she looks a little more exhausted than she did before. Okay, let's change our tactic again. Damn. Man, it's like I said. The CGI in the show really doesn't look all that bad. Uh, I feel like- oh, whoa! He's got like an after image now, oh my god. What does Kyoka not like about this situation? Ooh! Oh, she dodged it that time. Damn, they just keep, like, doing this attack and jump back tactic. She seems very interested in Yuki, for whatever reason. She was interested in, hi interested in him last episode, too. Yeah. <laughs> She hits like this weird pose. Ah, okay. Damn. They're actually getting her a little bit here. Yeah, that, so that's her one weakness. Essentially her one weakness in the scenario is the fact that she doesn't have like a attack. It's essentially, um, while she has an attack, it's just a gun. Her time thing is, she, she's able to freeze time 
But if someone like the like uh, like Yuki and Himari are able to take advantage of the fact that she's tired and then back away, she loses her advantage and she just keeps tiring herself out, rewinding time over and over and over again. She doesn't have a definitive like attack, necessarily speaking. Oh God. Oh god, this is what she talked about last time. Prime time, yep. Yikes. Oh my god, that is a huge range for the freezing time. So prime time can... Prime time can freeze it for longer, I guess? Oh my god, that is... Oh my, those are... How do you dodge that? <laughs> Damn! Yeah, no, that got him. That got him pretty bad. Although it did say that as soon, whoever loses or wins this battle will be healed, uh, uh, no matter what injuries they take uh, once they get out of this barrier. Where did she hit her with that bullet? I'm very intrigued where she actually hit her. The ultimate pose, huh? I mean, I guess thank you for explaining your ability to us. Uh, no way she's actually gonna lose here, right? Uh, someone really needs to put this girl in her place, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm assuming Yuki's gonna do something, right? <laughs> oh my god. They show her acting like such a brat here, and then they show us that adorable picture. What if we have, like, an announcer for, like, the six people that are watching this fight happen on the sidelines? If she would just shoot him right now, or make him give up, she could win. <laughs> Till the price is paid. Hmm. Income in in comes Yuki to save the day. Why does she not just shoot them here? I'm so confused. I'm so con- Interesting how she's not just shooting them here. She could very easily just win the battle by like just popping them and then it'd be game over. I'm not sure why that's not happening. <laughs> to be fair, when I say shoot, I'm not meaning like shoot them in the head and kill them. I'm meaning like shoot them and wound them in the idea so you can win the fight. Because when this barrier goes down, all said and done, they will heal no matter what. So it's not like you shooting them in like the leg or something is gonna ruin them for life. Like just shoot them. Uh, I'm not rooting for her either, but like that was so stupid how she just stood there and let them get this re this rejuvenation back. She could have easily just shot him in the leg like twice and it would have been game over because they would have been forced to give up because they would have been totally out of steam at that point. Just a little irritating that she just let them do that. <laughs> Make it easier to train her later on. Okay. Maybe the reason she wasn't just straight up attacking them is she wanted to break their spirit, as she said there. Not a very great reason in my mind to not just take them out when you have the chance, but it is what it is, I guess. What just happened? Oh! -ho! Yuki's back in his human form! Oh, she shot bullets all behind him. Because she didn't know where Himari's at. Oh my god! Just took out a piece of her neck! Oh, she's on the ground! Damn, the art in this episode's clean. And down she goes. And down Yuki goes as well. Well, damn. Didn't- are they just gonna count this as a draw and nobody wins? Is that what's about to happen here? Oh, never mind. Himari's still up. I like how they ended that fight. Despite my grievance earlier about how she didn't take her out, I, I see the the reasoning behind it. It's still a little annoying, but I like the end of that fight. The way Yuki jumped out and like all the steam blocked her vision. 
and then uh, Himari just on the ground popped her right in the neck. Although, realistically, can't Himari just make her arm into a weapon? Why would she use an artificial gun in her hand rather than just make her arm into a weapon? Oh no, that's right, that's right. Her sister said earlier in the episode that she is unable to switch abilities uh, mid-battle. So she's not able to switch from Kyoka's ability to the gun ability mid-fight. That's right, that's right. So that's why she's carrying a real handgun. Oh my god, Yuki is still out cold. The wound should heal, right? Once the barrier goes down? Ah, uh, yep, she's healing him. Damn! That is so OP! <laughs> oh god. We got a Cinderay on our hands. Himari's gonna be a big Cinderay going forward, I'm assuming. It's time for the reward. It is time for the reward. <laughs> mm. Oh boy. <laughs> we can have a Sundere sister situation here as well. Damn, she really seems to want her to drag her back to the Azuma family. Yachiho, that was her name. Sorry. I don't know why I kept forgetting that over and over and over. Her name's Yachiho. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> damn. She said all that and she still rejected her ass. Damn. Seems like a part of her was like being all that whatever sadistic. Like, wanting to bring her sister back so she could, like, work under her or whatever. But I think a part of her also just wanted her sister to come back uh, to come back home at the same time, whether she'll admit it or not. So we've got a Sundere in Himari towards Yuki, and we've got a Sundere in Yachiho to Himari. <laughs> Is it reward time? Uh-oh. Yep, here we go. Here's the reward. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my, and she's giving him the water through the kiss. God damn, that was quick. <laughs> she's so embarrassed. Guess it's starting. Are we, are we sure about that? Are we sure that was the reward doing that? <laughs> That's true. Oh, wow. That first attack actually would have killed her if he wouldn't have put the brakes on it and... Hey! They... Wow! Thank... Okay. Props to the show. Props to the show for addressing what I literally just said. Thank you. Props for that. Oh, God. Her, her, um, what do you call it? Uh, her interest in him is just ever growing with every, every new thing she sees about him. She's gonna walk in on and see them kissing, isn't she? Oh my god. So... So the you helped me part is not part of the reward. Okay. <laughs> Very difficult to tell with this girl what's part of the reward and not. That first kiss was probably the reward, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, was it really? <laughs> oh, she going in for number two. Oh my God. Oh my God. The detail on that. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh. Yeah, she's going in for round two. <laughs> what are those, like, little pecs? My god, they are just going at it. Straight up making out. <laughs> Yo! Okay. <laughs> Shushu is absolutely about to come. Okay, that was a weird place to pause my sentence, but I was just l listening to what she said. Shushu is absolutely about to come and watch. The watch them just making out in here. <laughs> it feels weird to be formal, yeah. I'm sure it's the price of the ability. Oh my god, she's going in for more. Oh my god. Yep, Shushu sees it. 
And now she has figured out what exactly the ability entails, too. <laughs> and she's asleep. <laughs> Ooh. She woke up to the commander's words real quick. I guess we're gonna see their fight next episode, or maybe they'll- maybe it'll happen this episode. How much time do we have left? Okay, no, it's gonna be next episode. Oh god, who the hell are these people? Are they about to interfere on our duel here? That'd actually be interesting to see. We saw Himari versus Yachiho, and then we're just gonna have all of them come together to fight these uh, new enemies there. They clearly looked like enemies. I'm gonna assume that they were- they were in fact enemies. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so she's explaining instead of Nay, because it's her ability. <laughs> uh... Oh, they kicked her out! <laughs> they kicked her out! <laughs> and she started going overboard, and they just kicked her out there at the end. <laughs> the reward was. While making- while them both making out was very, uh, lewd and obscene, uh, it was definitely not the most obscene thing that she's done so far. Last episode was clearly the most, uh, the most, um, as she calls it, obscene reward that she's had to do so far. Overall, this was a pretty good episode. I'm glad they even addressed that Yachiho was being an idiot by letting them get their strength back up and get another attack going, but I feel like maybe Yachiho deep down wanted to give Himari a bigger chance. I'm not sure. Yachio seems like, like I said, it's possible that she is just an asshole, but at the same time, it almost seemed like she wanted Himari to come back home so they could be sisters together again at home. That's almost kind of what it seemed like at the end there, but she's just really bad at expressing that, so she tries to act like, oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna lord over you because you're so weak, whatever it may be. So there's that. We got <laughs> this reward. The fight itself was cool. I like the final attack. I think that was very, very well done, how they blinded her vision when she froze time. So overall, overall, a very, very solid episode, but I think that is gonna wrap it up for my reaction to Chained Soldier episode five. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you all have a good day.